LGBTQ. It's ongoing. Schools, they have clubs, gay clubs, lesbian clubs. It is happening. And the authorities are aware. It's illegal because you have not legalized. That is what they are fighting for us to make it legal. It He's a missionary and so passionate when it comes to moral values. Today we are combining moral values and the current trending issue of the nation that is LGBTQI and a bill that we are waiting for it to either be passed or rejected by members of parliament of Ghana. So today that is what we are going to talk about. I'm having Reverend Enoch Asari in the studio with me. Sir, you're welcome. Thank you. <laughs> okay, sir. I'd like to tell uh, or give a, a, a gist about this whole topic to my viewers out there so that they will know what I am actually talking about. So eight members of parliament led by Sam George, the MP for Ningo Prapram, are supporting or they are sponsoring a private member bill called Proper Human Sexual Rights and Ghanaian Family Value Bill 2021 to deal with LGBTQI+. Hmm. However, some top officials led by lawyer Akoto Ampao, they are also fighting that the bill should not be passed because they feel that it's undemocratic. And according to them, um, lawyer Akoto Ampao says it's a breach of Article 19 of the 1992 Constitution that gives freedom to association and assembly. Say, so, I want to ask you this particular question. As someone who is strongly for moral values, what is your take on this issue? Well, um, for me, I would say that they are the leaders of the nation. And once we have appointed them to lead us, they are supposed to do it in accordance of the one who created them. That is God, mm -hmm. what his word says. That is my stand. Because one, I'm a Christian, and as I being a Christian, you know, Ghana statistically they say 73% of our total populations are Christian, and for that matter, Ghana is a Christian nation. As a matter of fact, when you see about 10 people gathered at the same place and you draw close to find out whether they are um, they believe in God, they would at least. The one that do not go to mosque on Friday will be able to have a church name to mention to you. So I believe we are all very religious people. And um, whilst they are leading us as parliamentarians, they must also know that we have our values. Okay. That is my stand. We have our virtues that we do acknowledge wherever we find ourselves as Ghanaians in the first place. Okay, so um, personally, I want to get your opinion on this bill. Assuming this bill is passed, don't you think it's going to um, create a lot of chaos for us? Or you think it's in the, a step in the right direction? No, the bill there are two. Is it for the positive or the negative? Okay, um, let me let me um, put it way, in this way. Is it for the bill to be passed for the gayism, lesbianism, transgender people to have their way or the other one the, the other the, way around that the Ningo Pram Pram is champion okay. is, 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 the bill should be passed so that um, there will be no practice of LGBTQ or any community of that sort of and course I stand I stand with the with the ones that is being led by the Ningo Pram Pram MP it's 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 um leading that proceeding okay so yeah. you are in support that we shouldn't allow any thing called an LGBT school. At all, at all. Not at all. Okay. Yeah. Okay, so what does it mean to be morally right or wrong? <laughs> you know, sometimes what is right for you may not be right for me. Okay. Um, even in Ghana here, um, you can maybe, maybe somebody who come from the north northern part of Ghana maybe you know may eat certain kind of food that when you bring it to this our southern part here you will not be interested in it mm -hmm. 
there are some dresses that they do dress up there and when they give you that dress to dress down here in the southern part you may not be interested in it so sometimes what is right for you may not be right for somebody else but then this time around we are talking about moral issues mm -hmm. everybody has conscience and one thing we must all know that is that god brought us here every woman been living here was created by god nobody knew where he or she was when he wasn't born do you get it mm -hmm. and whilst we are finding ourselves here on earth we all know that god brought us and god brought us for his purpose we didn't bring ourselves for that matter we have no purpose here we have no agenda here god brought us here for his agenda in the first place mm -hmm. because in ephesians chapter 2 verse 10 the scripture says um we were christ we were, we were created in christ jesus unto good works which God has before ordained that we should walk in them. So he brought us. We are his workmanship created in Christ Jesus unto his good works. We have no works. He brought us for his work. Mm -hmm. Do you get it? So we are here to finish his assignment. And before anybody will be able to finish that assignment, we need two things in order to fulfill that assignment. One is wisdom and the other one is knowledge. When it comes to wisdom, it's only God that gives wisdom. But when it comes to knowledge, we go to school to acquire knowledge. And that is where people are messing up what they see to be their things that they value. If you acknowledge your, your maker as the one who brought you and you have, you have come here on earth to fulfill his agenda, you acknowledge God, he will give you wisdom. Other than that, you go to school to acquire knowledge and that knowledge is going to lead you to destruction. So, to what extent do we believe that the ideas we have, that it's not influenced by the environment we find ourselves in, being it right or wrong? Because our geographical location sometimes to play a part in the people that we become. So, um, with this particular moral values we are talking about, how influential is our environment pertaining to we thinking right or wrong? The environment does not actually count per se. The whole thing is that we live in a global world now, mm -hmm. whether we like it or not. I'm very sure 50 years ago, 60 years ago, our forefathers that were living like they, like it was their turn as we are in this generation, they were not considering this thing. But 50 years ago, this thing was ongoing in so-called um, um, developed um, countries. It was ongoing. But then, you know, as world, you know, we, we are living in a global world now, it's like things have become normal and like things that are happening in US, UK and all these European countries are commonly found in our, in our mix now. Now we travel easily, we are, internet is available and phones and all these things, television, satellites, that is what is influencing, not our environment per se that is influencing us either to accept wrong things or not. So I, I, I want to ask this particular question. Um, you are saying that our environment doesn't mm. really comes to play when At it all. comes to issues of uh, maybe making choices. Mm -hmm. So assuming somebody is born into a family where the surrounding they find themselves consists of more of we smokers and then Somebody is also born in another um, country or an environment where the person has access to all that he or she wants or need, but the people around are very positive. Looking at these two people, won't they be influenced one way or the other? Yeah, because what you hear and what you see is what you become in life. So then environment comes to play environment come to play what i'm saying is when it comes to that moral issues we are talking about now now it's like the main issue is about um this lesbianism gayism yes. and all those things that aspect now i do not think we growing up we've seen people who are into that um, um trend whereby a man will behave or dress and be walking in the street unlike the so-called um, developed countries that they have their rights to live however they want to be. You can go to a house that two women are in the house and one call himself, I'm the husband, and the other one call herself, I'm the wife. Meanwhile, we all know there are two females. 
Do you get it? Mm -hmm. We don't have that commonly in our environment here. So as I said, um, we are living in a global world now. And for that matter, things you are seeing on net, things you are hearing and all those things are actually gradually um, creeping into the society. Mm -hmm. Whereby in our environment here, we don't have that thing much. Do you get it? But then those who travel, go see the things that are happening there and the things you are seeing as we know we are living in a global world, that is gradually creeping in. And we must, we have our standards, our moral values. So we must not allow that as environment. We don't have environment that has created that kind of attitude and, and, and um, beliefs. I, I want to keep in this. Um, this is basically not really as what we're talking about mm. here. But I was just reading a particular article this morning that was talking about some priest, um, Reverend Father, sodomizing or even raping and defiling students. Mm -hmm. That one too doesn't bother. Doesn't it boil down to this whole um, environment you are talking about, because Reverend Fathers, who we believe should be um, an epitome of you know good morals are the ones defiling. Someone also made a comment that if we don't allow lesbianism and gayism, who will marry all the beautiful ladies in the world? Looking at the Ghana's population census now. Hmm. See, there's nothing new under the sun. Okay. Ecclesiastes chapter 1, verse 9 and verse 10 says. The things that has been, it is that which shall be. That which is done is the same that shall be done. And there's nothing new. Verse 10 says, is there anything where of one may be say, see, this is new. He said, no, it has already been in the old days that were before us. So there's nothing new. The whole thing started, you know, when you check the scriptures, you see, according to um, 1 Corinthians and Romans, Romans chapter 1, verse 26, 27, 28, down there, you see this story. It happened that some people were sleeping, okay, among themselves in a church. Some, they left their natural affection. As a matter of fact, let me just try, if I, possible, I could read. And when it happened like that, they begin to left, leave their natural affection. You, you see, but they okay, that is the, the Romans chapter 1, as I said. Okay. Let's check the 26 and 27. It says, For this God, God also gave them up to vile affection. Even their women did change their natural use into that which is against nature. And then verse 27 says, And likewise also the men, leaving the natural use of women, bend in their lust, one toward another, men with men working that which is unseemly and receiving themselves that recompense of their error which was meet mm -hmm. and even as they did not like to retain god in their knowledge god gave them over to their appropriate mind to do those things which are not convenient you let me just pause here for scale of time so this thing has been those days men in the scripture so they think they are continuing whatever it is that they have to continue you see and this is a spirit if you allow yourself it just enter you and it takes you off and you begin to live a life that you may think that is what it is um, um as you mentioned the priest mm -hmm. uh, i heard the news i was actually listening to the news and um a particular radio station asked a, a, a Pentecost elder mm -hmm. and he was giving this reference to what I'm just reading mm -hmm. that even in the Bible these things were ongoing and Paul rebuked them and he was asking them what does the light got to do with darkness what did the, uh, the sons of God got to do with the children of Belia and you know these bloggers took it in a different angle and they were saying oh people should stop being hypocrites LGBTQ is in the Bible. So why are they trying to fight it? <laughs> See, this thing has been since. And if the time would allow us, we will visit right from the creation. How Adam and Eve were deceived by Satan. Okay. And he, they ate the forbidden fruits. Okay. 
and when they eat they eat the food before then the 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 the, yeah, the, the snake told them that you will not actually die but then your eye will open do you get the whole thing and when it happened like that after they finished eating they actually realized that their eyes are open because they realized they were naked god came to the garden calling them come and see you let's have our fellowship and they said we were, we were naked so we are naked so we cannot come so in conclusion god called man and he said let us suck them out of this place before they eat the the tree of uh, life and they will live forever so there are some generation that came that they say actually if that fruit is indeed the fruit that they ate and their eye got open then we too we have we have to take that bite of the fruit and they think that they have taken bite of the fruit and their eyes has open and they call themselves illuminati to illuminate is to throw light into darkness whereby the darkness will evacuate so they believe they are the enlightened ones they are the people of the light mm -hmm. do you get it and gradually this kind of group will begin to form and those the elite in the society started joining them mm -hmm. thinking that they are the ones that in the that they are the, the people that are in the light so they begin to live a certain kind of life that if you are not part of them it's like you are not part of the society you are the 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 archaic ones and these people started living by anything that is contrary to the word of god because they believe that as god has given the instruction to our first mother and a, and a father which he came to say different thing to them they too have to go on a different direction so to fast forward the whole thing lgbtq meaning lesbianism gayism uh, um, transgender uh, q is the queer and they have added plus because anything that is contrary to the word of God is ready to be welcomed. They are ready to welcome it. Plus, it means anybody, one day, if you sit in your corner and you imagine something that is against the word of God, they will welcome you into the society. It means your eyes are open and you have come to join yourself. Yes, they will welcome you. And these people are currently at the the world leaders now they are the ones leading in the world i mean leading the world so they are the ones leading the world but of don't course you, don't you also think that if we don't really oblige with what they are asking for we may not be given the uh, um, the, the loans from imf and other mm. stuff again don't you think we are we are one way or the other not considering that because ghana you know is a country that loves to borrow money the borrowing, we know our former president of blessed memory, um, Atta Mills, President Jonathan Mills, said it clearly. But then it was it Tony Blair that was the president of United States. Mm -hmm. Clearly, he told him that we are not interested. If you, we are not interested in this kind of um, attitude. If you are not going to give us um, whatever it is, so you better declare your stand. Make sure you are not going to follow the crowd to do something contrary to the, the, the your values. You get if you acknowledge God or your maker in your wherever you live, that one you have no problem at all. Because no matter how world becomes, the world is not going to get better any longer. If you are a student of the word, you know that even Ephesians 5, verse 14 and 15 says, Beloved, you shouldn't work as an unwise people. Work as, work as wise men, circumspectly redeeming the time because the days are evil. The days are not going to get better any longer. Worse are things than coronavirus is ahead of us. But the people that know they are God, it doesn't matter. We can never be intimidated by, we are not give, going to give you loan. We are not going to allow you to travel again. If you don't have this, we are not going to. No, 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 no. They are not the people who actually created us. Those who started this whole thing, they are dead and buried. Ask where they are, so sad. You know, sometimes circumstances make people take particular decisions. Mm -hmm. As you mean, um, there is a student who needs help, needs um, school fees to be paid or something. And assuming the person is an orphan and the person comes into contact with, if the person is a female, comes into contact with a colleague female who is from maybe a rich family, but she is a lesbian. And then decide to introduce the poor girl into that act by sponsoring her fees. What do you think? Um, 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 he, said, he said that Certain times, the thing that happens around us, mm. 
um, those who know they are God, they, mm-hmm. they, shall, they shall be strong and then they shall do exploit and all that. That's what the Bible talks about. Mm. So in this circumstance that the person needs help and the only help available at that time is the lesbian, what would the person do? See, the whole st- thing, as I said earlier, starts from the house. Okay, before even school. Do you know that these LGBTQ people, right from the time they started this whole thing, the target has never been the elderly people, but young people. As you said, a young lady who lives in an environment who, who does not have money, but uh, needy, but brilliant, and need to be sponsored. See, my um, a pastor made uh, this statement that um, when it comes to Muslims, okay, they don't separate their money and their children from their religion. But it's very unfortunate that Christians, we do separate our money and our children from our religion. See, before, you know, children are gifts from God. Psalm 126, the Bible says, Lo, children are heritage of the Lord. And the fruit of the womb is his reward. It means children are gifts. Mm-hmm. And gift comes with a responsibility. If somebody gives you a gift, the person has given you a work to do mm-hmm. because you need to protect it. So not everybody who has been able to be privileged enough to give birth okay, or become pregnant to have a child. So whilst God has given us this um, children, it means that we must not separate them from our belief, our religion. And for that matter, in Deuteronomy 11 verse 19, he said, You shall teach them, your children, that is mother, father. And he's talking to believers, he's talking to Christians. You shall teach them, your children. That is the word of God. He said they should speak about it. They should discuss it. He said when they walk by the wayside, when they sit at home, when they lie down, and when they rise up. It means day in, day out. It, the word of God might be something that you... You, you know, the child grew up with. He knows, he understands. He knows his limit in life. Where he can go, where he cannot go. You get the whole thing. They're not as puppies. Excuse my language, but I have to use When you say way. puppies, mm. what, what exactly do you mean? See, the other day, mm-hmm. I was traveling to Tamale. And a woman came to send a dog that they sell it online. Okay. Somebody bought it online and you have to come and send it like as a parcel, a dog in a box. So I was also traveling. So the dog was very nice. I mean, it looks very um, interesting. So I asked the woman, are you going with it? He said, no, no, you didn't send it. It's the person who meet it at the station and pick it. And I said, okay. So is it going to survive? Once you are not going with it, nobody is going to feed it. Mm-hmm. Would you give it a food to eat? Because the journey is long. He said, oh, it will survive. I said, no, maybe you don't know. They saw some kokonte around this place. I know dogs eat kokonte. Mm-hmm. So can you, can, I can show you. So I go and get it some so that it will, at least to survive. He said, no, this dog does not eat kokonte. Then she showed me the kind of food this German shepherd, you know, this foreign dogs. Mm-hmm. Killed one, a like baby dog, you know, the puppy. And show me the food that they eat. They have it in. They are back uh, in, in badges, like they are back it, it. And it, it's in kilos, two kilos, three, four, five kilos. And the prices of it, then some can take care of a family for like it maybe a week. And this dog will eat it for three days, four days. Very expensive. And even the dog itself is very expensive. Mm-hmm. So if you have this dog, mm-hmm. okay, and you are buying expensive food to feed it, mm-hmm. you are taking care of it. Mm-hmm. Some parents, whilst they are giving their children food to eat they think oh i finished my assignment okay. some parents you know after you have fed the, the the puppy because it's a security dog we have special people that train the dogs okay they will come at the time they are supposed to come and train the dogs and they charge very high so if you give the dog expensive food to eat and you bring somebody to come and train the dog that one it's, it's normal. But when it comes to human being, we don't treat it like a dog as, oh, I've given the, my child food to eat. I've sent him to school. 
the teachers are going to train him in school. Mm -hmm. Do you get the whole thing? As you even mentioned, even some pastors are sleeping mm -hmm. and some teachers are sleeping. So why then you have to 100% re uh, relegate your duty to the, 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 the care of a teacher? Because school is going to give your child knowledge, mm -hmm. as I said earlier. But when it comes to wisdom, is the word and that is what god is expecting the parents to do so right at home hmm. interesting what of the parents who are trying their possible best to making sure that their children are on the right path but maybe one way or the other they find themselves in a clique or a, a group of people who does otherwise and then are also influenced easily you know what that is not your duty your duty is to do play your part. The instruction is that teach them. Teach them. See, the rest God will take care of it. When the Israelites were in Egypt and God is issued when um, Pharaoh was trying to be hardened, hardened his heart, and God decided to kill the first ones, he gave them instruction. He said, You shall kill a, 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 a goat mm -hmm. and you will use the blood to mark your, door mark your door post and when it happens like that the the angel with a sword that will come and kill the first ones as soon as they see the 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 the, the blood they will pass over do you know that some of the israelis that did not okay do this common or simple instruction that did not mark their door post with that blood their first ones were killed. You do your part. He said, teach them the rest. Because I normally say that when a child, okay, when human being go wayward, nobody can bring the person to the right path. It's only God. God created human being, and He know how when man get destroyed. Yeah. Even dry bones, He was able to bring back life into a dry bone. How much more human being who is already alive? So if you play your part, it is a seed you are sowing in the life of the child. And definitely that seed will never go for it. Never. Don't you think we are never. being too harsh on this LGBT society? You know, for God, he has given us our liberty. Mm -hmm. As Joshua said, now we have the God of the Amalek mm -hmm. and all these gods. They are there. Okay. You can choose. And our God too is there. He said, you can choose any of them that you want to say because God has given us our liberty. He wished, having in first Timothy chapter um, 2 verse 4 said, God will wish all men saved and come to the knowledge of the truth. Yet he do not force us. He has given us our, our free will. Okay. Mm -hmm. He has given us our, our free will. He said, whosoever believes in him, in as we all know, John, is it John 3, 16 mm -hmm. or so. Yeah, whosoever, he's ready for whosoever, but he do not impose his will on anybody. He has given us the liberty, the free um, um, and the opportunity to do whatever, but have in mind that there is a time bound. Nobody on himself has said it. First Corinthians 5, um, yeah, 5 and 15 or so, he said, um, for we shall all appear before the judgment of God, and we shall receive yeah, five ten. First Corinthians five ten. He said, "We shall receive an account whatsoever we have done with our bodies, mm -hmm. whether good or bad." So God, He has given us our free will. So for us, we have our society. We voted for our leaders to lead us, mm -hmm. and they know what they want. That is why we put our trust in them. That you know what I want. I voted you to go and represent me at the parliament. So once you know what I want. And it happens that you have to go and vote. I am not expecting our leaders to go and vote for what there are people who send them to go and represent them there will go and vote against their will. And that one I'm very sure that they wouldn't go and, uh, and vote again. But one way or the other, if some have been influenced by this so called the enlightened ones in the society by giving them their personal worth, mm -hmm. you get them for that matter, they will go against our will then that one is unfortunate and i don't think they'll go scot-free not at all <laughs> when it comes to the christian law mm. 
we 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 are taught to love our neighbors. Mm. So we we know the light mm. when it comes to Christianity. So are we not supposed to introduce the light to them either than lambasting them and telling them or pushing them to the wall to do the extraordinary? When it comes to the LGBTQ, we the Christians, mm. are we not the ones who are supposed to stand and then bring or invite them to God either than trying to cast them away? I am very sure that this LGBTQ they don't start from Ghana. Okay. In a human race, like in our generation, it started from US, I'm very sure, or UK. You get a whole thing. And when you use UK constitution, for example, do you know that their whole constitution was founded on the basis of the scriptures? Even their currency they use, the dollar bill, it is written on it in God we trust. So do you think you know God more than the, the one thing? They know. But you know what? It is a freedom of choices, worship, believing. You can choose to believe. In the queer people, you know some of the things they are doing. Somebody can say, this water or this bottle, this phone, since I bought it, it has been good to me. It has never gone off since I bought it, so it's my wife now. Oh, somebody just it. married a rice cooker, so I'm not even oh, surprised. Yeah. 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 You get it. Mm -hmm. So, see god has given us our free will but see the liberty the gift and the callings of god is without repentance when god give you something okay you don't take it but mm -hmm. mind you whatever it is that he has given you you come back and account for it mm -hmm. do you get the whole thing in lucifer a uh, case it is only his position that he lost in heaven because he was an archangel very beautiful as the bible describes in ezekiel chapter 28 very very powerful he was in the coast of fire when you read verse 14 in ezekiel 20, he said until iniquity was found in lucifer he was in the coast of fire the angel that could walk in the presence of god one on one god could, could destroy it and remold it again because of the kind of work he he, he, he does in heaven and pride was thrown in his heart. He said, you want to ascend and become like God. But you know what? God did not take the power, the spirit. He never took it from him. He didn't take it. Okay. And what he, what he did was that he just had to relocate him. So in Revelation 12, verse 10, he was thrown down here. And the caution, the warning was given us. Here on earth that woe unto us. Even as not of at heaven, there was a rejoice. There was a, a, an announcement. He said, Re be ye heavens, rejoice. Okay? Mm -hmm. Because now comes strength, now comes salvation. Because the accuser of the brethren, the one that stands before your maker and accuse day and night, have been cast down from among you. So be happy. But woe unto you, the inhabitants of the earth and the sea, because the accuser have been thrown down to you, knowing he has but a little time carrying a great wrath. So you and me, we are not living at a place that is that much convenient. But I tell you, since we have chosen the light, he said he will be with us. He, Jesus told the disciples, he said, all powers in heaven and on earth have been given unto you. So you have been given unto me. So me too, I empowered you to go and do in my name. So you will drink deadly poisons and you will die. They step on scorpions and serpents. They they can't hurt you. So we are living with all these kind of things that are daily influencing us to do things that are not humanly right. It depends on you can choose. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you can choose. The powers he has given you, you won't take it. But however you choose to use it, have in mind that you are come for it. Hmm. Oh yeah. So what what to what extent is crime different from sin? As a pastor, mm -hmm. I'll still stand by the word of God because you can't take the word out and do anything that you will succeed. If you decide to detach yourself from God, Satan will assist you because he's the God of this world. Okay. Mm -hmm. So crime, detach crime from what? As, as to what extent mm -hmm. is crime mm -hmm. different from sin? See, <laughs> for sin, <laughs> it, sin is 
kind of i don't know but then it's a continuous way of thinking and acting upon mm-hmm. do you get it and acting upon your your your, your thoughts. thoughts okay and then crime and when it comes to crime i don't know but i need to find it mm-hmm. from the mean the actual meaning for that crime but what i what i think is that let me say you i can i can i can buy let's say um a poison okay a rat poison okay having in mind that i'm coming to mix it with food mm-hmm. because i have rats in this room okay and unfortunately i did not hide it and somebody came mm-hmm. and it was it was in a bottle of coca-cola and the person mm-hmm. thought oh it's the coca-cola i drank and part is left there mm-hmm. if the person is probably tasty or want to have it and enjoy mm-hmm. and took, uh, just took it mm-hmm. and when it happens like that i have committed something that is okay they have poisoned the person so that one is it a crime person uh-huh. and that is what i want to i would later find out what crime actually mean mm-hmm. but people who commit crime some i think they do it not think that they have planned to do mm-hmm. example like a man and a woman mm-hmm. or a husband and wife recently these things are ongoing do you get it mm-hmm. out of anger the man will just take something and throw it at the woman before you have killed your wife that one is a crime you have committed a crime okay and that is why i'm sure i'm not that much into these law issues they have it when you go to court the lawyers call some a uh, um, first time offender or something yeah. do you get a whole thing so it will depend on your records your records mm-hmm. Do you get it? Mm-hmm. So the record, the sinners or the sinner is into it. Okay. Do you get the whole thing? Okay. Yeah. So the sinner is into it. I'm sh- I'm sure the highest form of sin is the crime. I don't know. Okay. But the wild one we mm-hmm. see, do you get it? Mm-hmm. So you know that even addressing mm-hmm. you commit a crime by your dressing. Oh, I, I, I know that the constitution states clearly that um, it talks about indecent exposure. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You are not supposed to dress to tantalize anybody. That's mm-hmm. how the constitution puts it. Mm-hmm. But, and I know that the Bible also says that you should dress in that all modesty. Come there if you get the opportunity. All modesty. So yeah. it's like um, the, the laws and the, the the moral rules or the biblical codes is like they work hand in hand. That's what I have seen. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so what should a uh, society collectively do to uh, maybe deal with criminals and sinners? A society as a whole, what should they collectively do to deal with criminals and sinners? If you want, I can limit it to. LGBTQ. Okay. I think when we stay there, it's rather here. Okay. <laughs> okay. Criminals and sinners. and sinners. So, how do we even uh, classify the okay. LGBTQ people? Are they criminals? <laughs> Are they sinners? I leave it to you. <laughs> okay. For me, mm-hmm. I wouldn't say they are criminals. Mm-hmm. Okay. Just that the pattern of thinking that they have found themselves in mm-hmm. you get it mm-hmm. see i've been to prison so many times okay mm-hmm. not as an inmate but i go there to visit them one of the places that you find the most nicest people is the prison the Very nice. as in physical appearance or not physical appearance the attitude do you get it? The, the most nicest people you can you can relate with is when you go to prison. Because they know that for them, they need forgiveness. Mm-hmm. They are at a place that they need to go out from that place. Mm-hmm. So they have to humble themselves enough for them to receive mercy in order to be really released from that place. So when it comes to... Um, um, 
crime, okay, with the LB, LGBTQ people. I don't think they are harming people. That is in a physical sense. Okay. But they are causing emotional pains, distress. And sometimes that one is more criminal than us. Do you get it? Okay. As we assume that they are not doing anything bad. Because you can imagine um, if the opportunity is given for us to to go back where this thing started from. Um, there's a guy called um, Alfred Kinsey. Mm -hmm. Okay. He was following a, a, somebody that they were propounding or they were building up with this gay thing that started from the ancients mm -hmm. okay yeah and this africans one of the thing is that um indiana state university um contracted him to do something about human sexuality can you imagine this hmm. so if this thing has come that um um to um how do i say it it has become very popular now in our society it means they are all building up. And um, this African guy would also contract people, calling them sexual researchers, to go and find out whether, um, when it comes to sex, they wanted to make sex and anything concerning human sexuality should be like a free way of living. Nobody should be restricted when it comes to sex things. Okay. Whether male or female, mm -hmm. do you get it? Mm -hmm. So they would they will go and get this the researchers that Africans mm -hmm. um employed to go and do research about sex mm -hmm. to the extent that they said as babies as old as one year mm -hmm. can experience orgasm. So they will touch the the, uh, the genitals of these babies mm -hmm. and infants, and when they withdrew. When they scream or cry, they say, oh, you're experiencing orgasm. That is their conclusion. And so in this case, you are inflicting on their right. Mm -hmm. You are causing pain because the baby is crying. Sometimes to them, they say, oh, when you are having, a, you are having sex with a woman and she cries, it means she's experiencing orgasm. And for that matter, babies too, it's like that. And you are causing pain to the child. So this whole thing started from somewhere that the mindset behind this whole thing, to them, they don't see it to be a crime, but it's a serious crime. So you think we should you pay more it? attention to our mental health? Definitely. Okay. Definitely. Because, you know, Kaswa, this thing that happened, that a, a small boy, I don't know whether it was a 10 year old boy that, was that right. looks very handsome. For that matter, the teacher developed interest, love for the boy started to sleep with this boy in the name of oh i like you you are you are my friend and because he was his teacher come fetch water for me then you give him money when he comes they sleep with their boy to him he is committing to them his love the but is there is an introduction to this whole thing and so in a way the criminal aspect they wouldn't associate but for us that are believers, we know what these things are leading to. Mm. And we are causing crime in the society. That is, I don't know, it's mm. very confusing. So, so, so what, what part do you think um, religious leaders should play in this particular circumstance? We find ourselves as a nation. Religious leaders, they can only pray and also continue with their teachings. You get it. Mm -hmm. You should let your voice to be heard. And you see, I mentioned um, the guy I mentioned. What's the name? Is it um, Alfred Kinsey? Yeah, the, the one who performed yeah. the sexual. Yeah. yeah. He was being sponsored by Rockefeller, a very big company, Rockefeller Foundation. So he was having money in order to also sponsor people mm -hmm. currently as you are talking this lgbtq plus people it is 
and they have it in clubs, different places, and they have their top men that are sponsoring them. Do you get it? Mm -hmm. Let me say this, and I think I need to say they have representatives all over. As I'm talking to you, we have gay club in schools that they receive monthly or weekly sponsorship cash and from different places. Yeah, preschools are uh, university secondary schools. I'm telling you the truth. Secondary schools and I'm universities. telling you, university secondary school, they have their clubs there. It's illegal. It's not legal, it's illegal. So they are doing it, it's, they are doing it in, in, in secrecy. They have their class. Let me tell you one truth. 2015, mm -hmm. I was in Aguase prisons. Mm -hmm. Anytime we go to prisons, I mean, we go to different prisons in Ghana, we go to so many prisons. And when I went there, I shared something with them. And before we talk to the inmates, we have service with the officers. Mm -hmm. Okay, the officers first. So whilst I was having service with the officers, and this thing came in about um this um ISIS. Okay. This is, is Islamic yeah, militant ISIS. Yeah. yeah group. And I, I I gave this statement. I said so many, but this particular one I remember that do you know that some um what do you call it? Uh, missionaries have been sent down to Ghana to go to schools, universities, and prisons to recruit young people to go and join them. In the ISIS? Yes. In 2015, I remember it was in February. So, when I said it, I mean, it's a normal thing. I know they know, they understand. So, when I returned to Accra, I received a text message on my phone that, which I man, you know what? This place you came to is a highly security zone. You can't just come and say anything whilst you don't have evidence. If the authority asks you to bring evidence, I don't think you'll be able to provide. So that'll be the last time you are using this kind of and I so out of respect, I, res I responded, thank you, sir. I won't say this um, I won't give this information again, sir. And I thank you and I apologize. But in my heart, I said no, I won't keep quiet. Whatever I need to give this information for the people to be aware of what is happening in the society. I will. Please, but, let me, but, let me learn. But is there mm. any, like he said, evidence See, backing what you are saying? As I said it in February 2015, the same year, I think about six months later, Daily Guy brought the paper out. You have internet on your phone, you can check. The boy's name is Nazil graduated from KNUST was recruited to go and join them and later I think two months time or so this guy died and his body was brought down to Osu because he was a Muslim guy they conducted Adua or Adua or however they say it in, in the uh, 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 the language um what the, the the language they use Adua or whatever so they have to bury the person immediately yeah they conducted it for, for the boy at Osu. You can check it on your phone. Later, the man asked that, where did I get that information from? Because I said it long time. And these things are happening. Do you know that recently, Okuja Tawabrakwa, this um, minority uh, leader on, on foreign affairs, he um, and had a press conference and he made that statement clear that Ghana is the second highest ISIS recruiter, uh, uh, recruitment country in, in the world, second highest. See, this thing we are telling you is not hearsay. These are the realities. Whether we like it or not, this LGBTQ is ongoing. Schools, they have clubs, gay clubs, lesbian clubs. It is happening. And the authorities are away. It's illegal because you have not legalized. That is what they are fighting for us to make it legal. It, recently, they discovered um, a house at is it Tesano, and they went to close it. And that is why they are fighting whatever it takes for them to get the the the, the license, the permit to be here officially. They are fighting, and that's what believers to. We need to also pray hard in order not our leaders to allow them to because we can't sit here and even discuss them in the first place. At all, you'll be sealed, you'll be, you'll be sent to you can 
being in, in, in jail. Oh yeah, that is by what's... talking about when that is if the bill is the passed. Bill is passed. These issues we are um, discussing, we are having here, we can't go and sit in UK, US and discuss, have this kind of discussion. That is what... say anything negative that, at all that is, about them. The bill that um, is championed by Sam George, mm. when you read it carefully, it states that when the bill is passed, mm. you you can't come and use your media channel or your platform to even talk about them or at promote all. them in any way, at all. which I think um and some people are saying that it's it's a step in the right direction because as he said it's a it's about your brains mm. what you hear and what you see it's what mm. formulates and it becomes your being yeah so if um it's it's done that way and banned they claim that it will be out of sight and what's out of mind so right now i want your final take what 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 should the president do what should parents do to make sure that we overcome this LGBTQI. Being out of sight and out of mind, it is impossible. At all, it is impossible because we still have access to our phones. That is connected to the internet. We still have our wife first that give us access to what things on net. We still have our DSTVs that we watch different channels different televisions all over the world so there's no way we can we can take it off out of sight and out of mind for me mm -hmm. we should not allow it in the first place okay and as i said this thing has been going on it's not today it's just that they are they, they are looking for opportunity to be officially here mm -hmm. that you can't talk bad against them in Ghana, but then going out totally from the mind of the, the Ghanaians, it can never ever be because we are still living in a global world. People travel, go in it. I can show you video right now my phone, a Ghanaian that is married to a white man. And so would you say you didn't allow him to travel back to his hometown? He's a fancy. I can show you the video right now. Would you say you won't allow him to step foot in Ghana again? As a matter of fact, we have a lot of Guyanians that are gays and lesbians in different countries. Officially, they are married. And I have some names that I can even mention to you, but there's no need. I know, I know one. I can mention it. her name. He's playing the role of the man. She's a lesbian. He's a, she's playing the role as a man. Okay, so saying that we will let them go out of our mind and our sight and all that, it cannot be. And so, we normally say that you can not allow, okay, mm -hmm. a, a bed to fly out of your head. That one, you can never restrict a bed to fly over your head. There's no need. I mean, you can't, you can't. If you try it, you, the mission will be impossible. But allowing it to build its nest on your head, that one, you have the opportunity. You have whatever it takes not to allow the bed to build a nest on your head. So this one, I leave it to parents first. Me, my focus is on parents. Because even some teachers, okay, the school may say, we don't entertain this year, we don't allow this year. But then, do you follow the students and the teachers to their homes? See, as a missionary, I returned from my missions in, in East Africa. When I came to Ghana, I went to Agona in Ashanti region. Okay, on the way to Ashanti Mampo. We have two senior high schools. They all mentioned the school. And one of the schools, the, the, the house I live in, we were only two. One of the schools, Beza, and myself were living in that house. And almost every afternoon, this Beza will bring in a lady to come and sleep with a lady in the afternoon. Anytime I'm at home, I normally see he will bring a student lady. That was not the lesbian thing. I'm, we are talking about fornication. I mean, he was a married man, so we are talking about a, a adultery here. And the lady too is also committing fornication. So what happened is that one day he traveled 
and the and the knees came okay and when the knees went to his his room he found condoms you know it was in chains plenty on his bed and so the lady because the man was in there and he knew that i'm the only one living in the same house with so the lady started engaging she engaged with me in conversation he was asking do, do you see my my uncle's wife coming here and i said i asked why but i've been seeing things that i'm not i don't think it, it's appropriate i can see this and she was she actually brought the thing to show me it was in chains long one so he tear it one after the other to do his whatever he used so the thing is you cannot follow the student to their houses you cannot follow the teachers to their houses so for the school yes it's not allowed but some are practicing as i said the only thing is that if parents you know infuse this fear of god in the life of their works and their children in schools okay those that are learning and jobs like the apprentice and all that some they, they've met big people sponsoring them but if this thing is being taught right from their infancy they grew with it it is a seed the child not like a muslim girl who knows and understand that my mother my father will drive me out of this house if i decide to go out of this religion i can't marry a man if the man is interested in me he should come and to be enjoying us see this thing is in the mind they grew they grew them up with this kind of things and so they have it in their hearts that i can't do it they know but not so with our religion as God, uh, calling ourselves believers, Christians. So we you leave things to chance. Mm -hmm. I asked the university student, who is a second year student, then I asked him that, are you born again? So he doesn't understand that thing you are talking about. I, okay, do you believe in God? He said, when it comes to God and these church things, I'm kind of skeptical about this whole thing. And I asked him, okay, do you have mother and your father? I said, of course I have my parents at home. And how many siblings are you? He said, we have two, me and my younger brother. And I said, your father and mother, do they go? So said, oh, they go to church. And I asked him, so what do they tell you once you don't follow them to church? So for, my, for me, my house, this religion, we don't force anything on anybody. You choose to do what you want. And mm -hmm. I asked myself that if you are to be a Muslim, a, a, a child would they say would they allow you to to say you are skeptical uh, skeptical about this whole islamic thing i don't think they will do that do you get it mm -hmm. see in 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 genesis chapter 18 verse 19 i think so god testified about abraham mm -hmm. do you know the testimony god gave about abraham he said would I hide anything from Abraham? Once I know he's been a great nation, he will become a great nation. So I can't hide anything from him. The things I've intended to do, I need to reveal it to Abraham. Why? I think from 17, 18. Then it continued to say, For I know Abraham, Abraham will command, the word is command, his children and his household after him to obey the ways of the Lord, to do justice. And judgment so that all that I say concerning Abraham will come to pass see if we do not enforce in a way don't say is the child right to do choose is a, 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 a freedom of religion freedom of Ghana we are in a freedom of religion yet Muslims do not leave their children to leave freedom to go and choose any religion they want but we Christians we leave things to chance God said, Abraham will command, the word is command, his children and his household after him to obey the ways of the Lord, one, to do justice and judgment. Hmm. So, that, so that all that I, God, have said concerning Abraham will come to pass. You know, I always um, um, associate these two people as two kind of parents in the Bible. Eli was a, a, a priest, like, let's say, like Abraham. But Eli did not enforce the truth on his children. And God, after killing the, those two boys, hopefully and Phineas, he also sent a, a caution to, 
to early that you never have a youth in your family again. At their, at their peak age, at their flower age, I'll pluck them off. You have them. Simple because you did not enforce the truth on your children. You were sleeping with people who come to make their sacrifice before me. Hmm. So now, parents, once again, I won't, I won't say that much. For government, they can do. Okay, we are not allowing it in our nation. Mm -hmm. We are not allowing it in our institutions, like the schools and wherever government institution is. But government can never ever restrict them not to come to the country. And they are working through one of the people they are using massively are the influencers in the society. And who are these kind of influencers in the society? They so called celebrities. And most of which, most of them are the musicians, secular musicians. Do you know that the first person who married officially in UK, a male that married officially to another male, like a gay, or who was a gay married officially in UK, was Elton John. Let me tell you, in Ghana here, I listened to an interview, Happy FM, 98.9, I think so. Saturday entertainment review, and the guy is it Dr. Khan? Mm -hmm. The guy that was hosting the program called this guy who was a, a, a manager to these three guys I know. One was then uh, um, Kira Yusoba, mm -hmm. he was managing mm -hmm. him, and 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 Yapono, mm -hmm. he was managing him, and um, the one love Kobolo. Mm -hmm. The man's name is Panji. Mm -hmm. He wrote on his Facebook page mm -hmm. that he was a gay. Mm -hmm. And this guy started to question him that uh, even our society, we don't accept, government has not officially accepted this thing. Mm -hmm. And he was also replying here and there. But finally, the guy asked that even our Bible is against, he doesn't allow us, the Bible says a man shouldn't go to bed with another man. Why do you say you are gay? Being a, a kind of a, a godfather to so many people, he said, what did you say? The Bible. Bible is just letters that have been formed together. I won't allow papers, alphabets that have been put together to control my life. God who created me knows me. If he know gay is illegal, he'll call my name. He'll call me Pandi. You know what you're doing is not right. I'm sitting here mentioning names. So wherever you know, it is they can they will respond to that. So we have them here. And these people, unfortunately, the big, big companies that have money. Then I said, don't forget, Alfred Kinsey was being sponsored by Rockefeller Foundation. He was able to get people to pay them. He, was, he actually succeeded. He became a, a man of the a, a season, or man of the year, one of these awards that he'd been given. Do you get it? Yeah. Because he has people to sponsor him. Today, we have a lot of youth that are in the limelight, musicians, and these companies, most of them has appointed most of them as brand ambassadors. They will send them to schools. You think what it, that it's amazing. It, this thing is alarming. So you think we can stop it? No. That is why my focus is on the Christian leaders and the parents, not actually the schools. Because you can be teaching, fine, you should teach it. Really, just a moral education. It also contributes. Yet, the main people that they must be very, very, very concerned about this thing when it comes to children is because their aim is on the youth, the children, the vulnerable ones, they're those who don't mind that. Not. And that is why any company that come to want to do investment, they do it in the juveniles, the children. Because when you catch them young, the thing registered in their mind, they have the foundation, they grow with it, nobody can take it from their minds. Okay. It is well and, it is well, <laughs> it is well with, yeah, with us. Mm. And um I think there are there are so many things you, you so like to talk about, but definitely. time would really permit mm. us. So you said a lot and I'm very grateful once again that mm. you under the invitation. So I've been speaking with Reverend Enoch Asare. He is a missionary and a passionate person when it comes to instilling moral values in humans. So we spoke about LGBTQ and then he raised certain concerns that 
um, I think the government should pay attention to. This is where we draw today's kittens on board daylight. My name is Chris Lamora and follow us on our social media handles, Facebook CMGA TV, YouTube CMGA TV, Twitter at CMGA TV and Instagram also on CMGA TV. Follow our website as well for more authentic stories. That is www.cmonline.com.gh, your authentic online news portal. On to another episode of this wonderful show. Bye.